boats crossing on a bridge, Pont Casalti aqueduct and canal. Thomas Telford, a leading late 18th and 19th century British civil engineer and architect, designed major projects across the United Kingdom. He was the chief engineer of Pont Kisalti Aqueduct. The aqueduct is over 300 metres long and 38 metres high. It was built across a valley in northeastern Wales. It's considered one of Telford's greatest works. In those days, this was one of the main coal mining regions. The area was also rich in slate, which was used for roof tiles. To transport the resources to nearby industrial cities such as Liverpool and Manchester, a major project to build an 18 kilometre long canal was launched. Crossing this deep valley was the biggest challenge, and so Telford, known for his interest in innovative iron-making techniques, was commissioned to build an aqueduct. Telford's pioneering aqueduct, made from iron and stone, was completed in 1805. It's amazing to think that the techniques used in this aqueduct are still used in the iron bridges of today. The canal's 18 kilometres run from Horseshoe Falls to Gledrid Bridge. The waterway was originally used to transport goods, but is mainly used by leisure barges today. The view from the canal is pastoral and calm. The surrounding landscape has remained virtually untouched since the Pontcasulti Aqueduct was built. The canal on the aqueduct is extremely narrow. The bridge is just over three and a half metres wide. Telford's Pontcasulti Aqueduct and its canal are an outstanding achievement of the Industrial Revolution period. They are as much appreciated by those who use them today as they were two centuries ago. Now, however, they can sit back and enjoy the countryside too. <laughs>